All right. I'm Brent Neighbors. I'm going to be behind your screen um, getting everything done. Um, let's just up front talk about observation, okay? Because I know everybody's like wondering what to do. Um, we're really not going to start. I'm going to have another just one more meeting to talk about observations coming up. Um, there's going to be two options. Um, watching video observations of a class that I've picked out of classes, okay? Or if you know a teacher, they'll allow you to join in on their Zoom teaching assignments, okay? Um, that would be the best, but I think that's going to be hard to find, okay? If you have a friend or a relative or a mom and dad, um, bug them and get into their Zoom conferences, okay? Watching the videos are great, but I need to have 45 hours. Um, and usually, think about it, if the videos... If the video is 35, I let you round it up just because I'm a nice guy. That's still 45 videos you're going to have to watch. There's no way to get around it. Um, I want you to get through this class. Fresno State requires 45. Um, and we can honestly say that you have done it. Um, we're going to go more into observations later on. So don't stress. Okay, I don't want you stressing about your observations. I'm going to get you where you need to be. Um, I'm going to share my screen real quick. Yep, see, I told you my phone's beeping at me. Somebody can't get in or... All right, so now you see my shared screen. And you, what I'm in right now, I'm in my interface, but it's kind of the Canvas interface. It looks a little different. Um, is it going to freak everybody out if I stay in my interface or if I go, should I go to a student interface so it looks like yours? Okay, that's good. Um, these, these things just mean you don't see them. All right, the first thing I would always do is like the video I send out, you got to go to your syllabus. There's three things in your syllabus. I think I'm at a nine, I think I've got almost everybody in the remind.com. That's huge. That's how I'm going to communicate with you. And it's quick. Um, it allows, it allows me to um, am I still there? Oh, there we go. We just popped off. Let me see if I can move this whole screen. Maybe not. Um, we're fine. Um, I'm actually looking at you. I should move my camera so it, you know, it bothers me when I'm trying to look at you and it looks like I'm looking away. I'm looking at the other side. Um, you need to be in this remind.com very important information comes. You don't have to have the app. If you just signed up for the text messages, that's totally fine. It's going to help you stay on point. This class is only 15 weeks. We're going to be done around Thanksgiving. Okay, just in time for you guys to all get that vaccination. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm teasing you. I don't know if it's coming or not. Um, but we'll be done. That way you can focus on your other classes. Here is my syllabus. Now, if you see these little icons, if you just click on it, it actually opens up and you don't have to download anything and PDF is not going to drive you crazy. Um, and there it all is. And we're going to go over that in just a second. My timeline is right here. That's huge. It, my whole entire semester is ready to go. It's going to try to open up weird. Um, did I just lose? Did I just close the wrong one? No, no, it's right there. My whole semester is ready to go. It tells you due dates. It tells you everything that you need to know. You should be happy. Um, I've taught this class, not the same way, but I've taught it for over 20 years. So I was like, I'm not one of the newbies that um, just started to learn how to do online instruction. This class has always been online for me. I've done it. I know what you need to do is stay on this this timeline. You can always check to see what's happening when my quizzes are. Okay. Another biggie is this calendar here. It's the same thing. It's exactly the same thing as my timeline. If you find that there's something not the same, let me know. Okay. Uh, there we go. You notice this is the biggie. Big, 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 biggie. Today, well, today is the 11th. Your first turn in is not until the 19th. I'm giving you extra time. One, to buy a book. I don't care if you buy it from the bookstore. Um, I don't know their price. I don't care if you buy it on Amazon. Just make sure that it gets here ASAP, okay? 
a lot of students are going to say, Mr. Neighbors, my book's not getting here. Can I not take this chapter test, which is the 26th, on time, or can I make it up? You know, here's one thing I've learned about an online class. I love each and every one of you, but each and every one of you have different situations, and not all of you, everybody in this screen right here is totally honest, but there's some people that are going to flat out lie. I have five children myself, so I mean, I don't know if it's lying. They're like, hey, um, my grandfather died for the third time. Can I take the test again? I get it. It's a big deal, and you slip. A lot of these quizzes, um, I drop the lowest one. Okay, but you got to get your book, get your book, get your book, get your book. So everything goes Wednesday to Wednesday. Why do I do that? Well, I know you guys are busy on Saturdays and Sundays. And believe it or not, with this pandemic, there are tons of jobs that have opened up. Um, there's some well paying jobs out there. And some of you guys decided, hey, I'm going to work. If I'm going to stay home, um, it's going to drive me nuts. I'm that same way. I have to get out of the house. Okay. So if you see me delivering a pizza sometime, it could be because I'm going nuts at home, okay? Um, so you, you have this weekend to work, or if you work the weekend, you can float through Monday uh, and Tuesday and then finally get it done. Everything is done. Wednesday is due Wednesday at 11.59, okay? I love it. It makes me sad though, when all of a sudden at 11 o'clock, okay, actually you want new dates on Wednesdays? I turn my computer off at five o'clock, turn it completely off. Because what happens about 11 o'clock, people start texting, oh, oh, oh Mr. Neighbors, Mr. Neighbors, uh, where's this, where's that, where's that, on the Wednesday of the due date. Be proactive, okay? I'm around, some of you guys have texted me, um, I'm giving you my cell phone, I, this remind goes right to me. Um, be proactive, but uh, one thing I am asking you, on Fridays and Saturdays, don't text me. Don't email me, okay? It's kind of my family time. I got one of my kids walking down with their YouTube video on. Hold on. Okay. It's kind of my family time, and it's kind of frustrating. Actually, my wife, when I first started, I was 24-7 online letting kids text me and everything on Saturdays and Sundays, and she finally said, hey, you need time, and I need time. So don't text me on if you can't. Uh, Saturdays and Sundays. Sometimes if it, you're totally lucky because I'm bored and sitting watching TV, I might respond back to you, but don't count on that. Um, so get everything done during the week because I'm totally available. Uh, so this is a calendar. I'm going to go back and go into my class, uh, which is the Ed 10 class. Um, so we talked about the syllabus. There's a lot of nuggets in there. You got to get in there and you got to look. If you already have done that, you are way ahead of the game for the first week, okay? This is really what I want you to do. Discussion and quiz. There's a discussion question. Click right here. It's actually under modules two that you can find all this stuff. Um, it's your intro, and I've got a lot of people already on there. You read this and you answer it. You just reply right here. Watch this video, too. It'll help you. You just reply to this topic. After you make your post and do what you're supposed to, you can scroll down, you see a lot of people have already done it. You have to reply to two others. So you can say, oh, look at that dot next to it means that's one person. I can reply to that person and I can count all that stuff. So every discussion, you always have to reply to two. My own children, two of them are graduated college, one's almost graduating, even my younger two tell me when I have to make discussion posts, I get on it right away and I, I post the discussion, but I don't answer to until like the day before it's due because that way people are posting information and you can get it done. Um, it's your call. Quizzes, right here. You have an orientation quiz. You can take this one as many times as you want. Okay, over and over and over until you get 100%. I just want to make sure that you and I are on the same page. And it's hard when we're at a distance. I'm not going to have Zoom conferences every week. At this point, you'll get messages by Remind when my office hours start. And what will happen is if you need a Zoom session for some reason where we need to be face-to-face, -face, you can tell me beforehand and I'll set up a conference. Or we can just communicate through Remind. Um, so just so you know that. Um, 
when we get ready to talk about our observation hours and do them. It's all right here. You click on here, observation hours, and opens in a new tab. Yes, I understand the guidelines, Mr. Neighbors. You will have to register for tracking these hours, okay? Um, we're gonna go through that. I really don't want you to spend your first two weeks worrying about this because we're gonna get you taken care of, okay? So don't freak out about observation hours yet. The place I would hang out in is modules. I have, I, you're only, you could only see three of them right now. See, I had the rest of them turned off, but I have the first week done for you. If you go through the first week video, you know, Ed 10 orientation and lecture videos, we'll go that second, out. how to personalize your email account, which is huge. Hey, do me a favor and change your picture. Don't put a cartoon picture up there or George Costanza or something like that. Try to do a picture of you. You know, I love animals. I just got a new one from the pound and she's laying on my couch like she's not supposed to. Um, but don't put your pets up, okay? Just picture of you. That way when I'm grading, I'm kind of trying to figure out who you are. And so when I'm in Walmart or I'm in a restaurant with my wife and family and you keep staring at me, I have no idea who you are, but you see a picture of me. And I've had students, I've been at the coast and people just stare at me and I tell my wife, hey, either that person is gonna stab us or it's one of my online students. So put your picture up so maybe I can recognize you as well. Um, discussion posts, can the link to your timelines, everything that you need to know, we'll go through these lectures in just a second. And what to do is at the bottom of every module for every week, it tells you when it starts and when it's over, okay? So if we look, let's look here at chapter lectures. First off, I have some study guides not turned in. Do not turn them in. They don't have to email them to me. It's for you. So we go to our lectures. Look at this. Ba 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 ba. You know, you have to have a proper speed. Okay. And we move into our lecture phase. Everything is here for the whole semester. Watch this. You want to watch an orientation? You click right here. It will see this little spinny thing. If that thing keeps spinning and it doesn't open, it means you have a network slowly slow down, you can hit F, the F5 key up above the six and the seven and it'll speed it up. So if I hit play, here we go. You can hear the whole thing. The course objective is basically okay. an overview. And I can go back. This semester. I have several. I can go into chapter two. Okay, I got a spinny thing. Spinny thing, it's spinning. If it does it forever, probably a network issue, but what? Oh, there it went. F5 on your keyboard helps it out. It automatically reloads it and starts it. Okay. Education I go through everything. Practice. Okay. You'll see throughout lectures. I also have practice questions. Question. Attempt it as many times as you as you would like. Okay. Can you if hear you that? If you get the question wrong, it'll pop up and say try again. If you get it correct, it'll say correct, and then you hit the continue button to move on. In every one of my lectures, I have 10 questions embedded. Okay. And uh, I have students after the first quiz, like Mr. Neighbors, I didn't do good on that quiz, which is found here. These are practice quiz. These do not link. You know, Mr. Neighbors, I didn't do good on my quiz on chapter two. What was, what do you think's wrong? What can I do to get better? I want a better grade. I'm an A student. They sell themselves. And I ask them this, how did you do on the questions inside the lecture? It gets all quiet. And then I hear this lecture. I guarantee you these are not the same questions you're going to see inside the quiz, but they're very similar and reworded. My quizzes are not shocking. If you go through the lecture and read the book, it's going to be magical. Okay. I'm um, slouch. So you'll click here. You go submit. Hey, I got it right. I didn't even read anything. I should go to Ch Chansey today. Um, there's movies that you can play. They'll pop right up. It's crazy that in a system that is Okay, so all my lectures are here. Whoopsie. All my lectures, they're all right here. Um, I do, caveat, it's, if you're gonna use your, I, I would not use exclusively uh, your iPhone, I'm not sure. They're not, they are not, um, they are not flash videos. They're HTML5, it should work. If it doesn't, just go to your computer and watch them, okay? Um, Grades are right here. 
don't worry about this attendance. I take care of that. Um, you know, if you stick in these, in these modules and come to the modules and every week you go, okay, let me look. What's due next week, week two. Okay, let's look. Okay, I've got information about that. I've got information about that. Study guides, chapter two. We will have a remind extra credit quiz next week. And what will happen is it's already loaded. Remind will automatically send you an email with the password on it. You will go into the quizzes. And it will, it will ask you, let's see, that's me. It'll ask you for the password. And a lot of people will say, Mr. Neighbors, I want to take this quiz. What's the password? You've got to wait for it to come in remind. I do one at the beginning and I do one towards the end. So that's 20 points and it's an easy question. Don't overthink it like Mr. Neighbors is the best teacher you've ever had. Well, I don't know. I, mean, was, I had one student say, it was the first week. I don't know how you teach. So I said, no. Oh, you just lost your 10 points. Just say yes, if that's the question. Um, and that's all that's inside there. So you get your extra credit. So I have both weeks and all the other weeks ready to go. But I'm only going to, once we get to the second week, I'll open everything up to the midterm so you know what's coming. Do I allow you to work ahead? Certain things do come on. We're gonna program out a little bit. We'll have an educational philosophy. We'll, we'll post a draft. I'll sign people to review it. And your peers will go through and review it. And then you'll turn your final draft in at the very end, okay? I plan on probably having a, an optional Zoom conference sometime this week or around the October time, probably around the 15th or a little earlier just to show you what to do and for those people who want to see it. Um, so the major assignments are a quiz every week, a midterm and a final, educational philosophy. And you really can't, there is absolutely no way to pass this class without doing either 45 hours of observation on Zoom with a teacher or watching the videos. It's part of the huge requirement for this class. If you, was, if you were to go to my syllabus, and look at it, it would tell you um, right here, once it loads, get into the points, down, 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 down. If you look at the points, you'll see here, if you figure it all out, 400 points, 400 points, um, educational philosophy, tests, Observation hours, 400 points are still, they're, they're equal to all the uh, little quiz, uh, the educational philosophy and um, tests that I give. Um, 200 for midterm, 200 for final. Um, I will show you how to study for those the week before. And we do some discussion questions that'll help you study. One thing you have to be prepared for before I end and let you ask questions of me. We are a distance, we are abroad, we are far apart. If your technology is going bad, or you're having a problem with your technology, you can go to the Clovis College. I'm just going to go this way. It's the quickest way I know how. Watch it not show. Um, you can go to the Clovis College and you can go up here to the top and it says um, under Campus Life or Academics, it says Library. In the library, you can um, you can do a technology loan program. For some reason, something's happening. Um, they can loan you some technology, okay? Uh, if your email, uh, if your, uh, so that's a computer. If your computer dies, get on and tell them. If your internet goes down, you need to be proactive. I'm not starting, stopping a test. I'm not letting you restart it, okay? Do not wait to the last day to take a quiz. I would always plan on taking my test Monday if you have to. That way, if there's a problem, I want to log in. That's it on that. No retakes on the quizzes. If your internet is down for a long portion of time, or I get it. If my family is going to have myself, my oldest daughter, and my two little sons will be on Zoom at the same time probably all day long. So this bandwidth is going to get sucked to nothing, and I have to manage my time. Um, if you have that problem, remember there's places you can go to get free internet. Sit outside a, uh, sit outside a Starbucks, sit outside a McDonald's. It's all free. Okay. So if you need to take your quiz and post it, you can do that. 
plan your time around the rest of your house. Um, if you're, if you have little brothers and sisters, um, or your children are doing the online thing for Clovis or Fresno, I'm not sure what Fresno is going to do. Plan it out. It's on you to deal with your own network and your own um, internet speed. Okay, I want to be upfront about that. I'm not being mean, but you can go here. I wonder if you can check out a hotspot. Now I do know, and I'll find this out for you. Um, I do know that when we were in full pandemic mode in March, um, Comcast opened up all their hotspots for free. Don't know if that still exists. Okay. I will find that information out for you. And if it is, I'll let you know. Okay. Um, now, let's, uh, uh -oh. okay, let's open it up for questions from you guys. Anybody have any questions of me? Hello, I'm Hello. Laura. Hello. Um, I just had a question. I know we're gonna talk about it later, but for the observations, could we do like half and half? Like if you wanted to watch some of the YouTube videos you have and observe Zoom class? Yeah, I'm totally for that. The hardest thing for you is going to be finding somebody that's going to let you do that. You know, the principles are, I will tell you, all principles are so puckered right now. It's not even funny. They do not. They are scared of this bug. They are, we had a, one of my, my little one plays in a 7-7 football club and they were on Clark Field and it was like, um, and they were all playing on their field, but it was all spread out like football. It's like flag football. Um, you would have thought we broke oh, that they were coming to arrest us. They came running on the campus. The admins from Clark saying, "You got to get off this field. You can't be on this field." Blah 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 blah. Um, if you know somebody, like you have a teacher friend, they'll let you in. But at this time in this stage, going to the front office asking to sit in on a Zoom meeting or sit with a teacher. Boy, you're going to get a no, 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 no. Okay. So don't count on getting into a Zoom conference unless you have some inside info. Okay. I mean, I would, if you want to go half and half, I'm totally, totally okay with that. Thank you. Okay. So I have a question. Um, I'm Haley. Um, I work in the special education field with students. Could I use? Yes. 100%. At work? 100%. Hundred oh, percent. What school are you working at? Uh, Mountain View. Yeah, hundred percent. Now they're going to let special ed on campus, or are you going to be in Zoom meetings? Uh, Zoom meetings. Totally fine. Hundred percent good. You don't have to watch the videos. Sweet. Other questions. Hi, I'm Lena. I have a question. Go for it. Um, should we start asking, like, if we wanted to join a Zoom for observation, should we start asking permission if we know a teacher or is it? Yeah, really I would say, hey, here's the deal. My teacher is like the coolest dude in the world. And he's going to let me use some of the Zoom deals, but he, I got to get in one. Can you do it? Um, if you hear the word, let me ask a principal. Ooh, you might be totally busted. But if you know somebody, I'd start sneaking in right now. Okay, thank you. Making the deal right now because in about two weeks, I'm going to start pressuring you guys to get some hours. And what I do, by the way, what I do is probably about two weeks before the midterm, I go through and look at how many hours you entered and I put that into the grade book. And some people freak out and they go, what happened to my grade? Well, they're ongoing. If you didn't, if you didn't have any observation, it's a good kick in the butt to start them. And then every week after that, I'll, I'll go back and retally them. So you're not losing points. It's just a, hey, they're coming. It's a reality check that, because if I don't do it, some people will never, ever do those hours. It just doesn't happen. So I, it's kind of a motivating thing. Okay, other questions? Hi, my name is Ariana. I have a question. Go for it. Okay, my question is, my boyfriend, he's a special needs um, teacher, and he teaches first and second grade. 
And so um, we live together and he's going to be doing his Zoom meetings like in his office next door. So could I like sit in on his meeting? Absolutely. If he doesn't let you, I don't think it's the right person for you. <laughs> it's okay. time to look for somebody else. <laughs> um, also another question, how would, um, how would I, how would he give me the hours? Like how would that work? It's just, it'll be you. What'll happen is you will go in and you're going to, you're going to register for this site that I showed you earlier. Uh -huh. You'll go in, you'll sign up and then you just already, you, you, you tell me who your teacher is. Um, in this, in this class, you're going to, uh, we used to pick a school that uh -huh. you're observing. We had to do research on it. Um, so we can't really, we can't really pick a school that you're at now. We pick a fantasy school nearby and then we do research on that school. So all okay. that stuff will tie together. You're going to be able to use the school that he's at. You're going to be able to use a lot of information from there. Okay. Awesome. Give me a, two weeks, get you started here before I roll that out because mm -hmm. a lot of people start panicking. What I would do is just do like what you're doing now, figuring out a plan to get in or let somebody let you in to do an observation or watch. If you can't watch, don't stress. I got more videos than you, you know what to do. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Anything Joseph out there? No. All right, I'm just checking on you. Um, nobody else? Did that help a little bit? Take your stress level down? Does it help realizing that I have done this before some of you guys were born? I've been online. It's sad. You know, I only got six more years and then I'll become an adjunct or something and drive a pizza truck because I don't know if I want to sit in a room all day long. My jokes are funnier in person and the online, but I'm working on it. Um, anybody else? I'm going to get ready to dismiss you. Go to recess. Is the rest of the classes, your classes are they're manageable? Are you able to get through? Your teachers feel like they know what's going on with technology. Do you feel comfortable with what's happening so far? I know it's different. I got a I got one leave, my third one's leaving college and I just want her out because it's kind of crazy at that higher level. And I got one coming in next year and I, it better get straightened out or I don't want him to take chemistry online because that would be, anybody taking chemistry online? You know, boy. No, no right. but I'm taking biology. Oh boy, God bless you. <laughs> There's some great teachers, but oh, biology is hard to begin with, but trying to articulate that information online Oh boy. And I've uh, already taken it once, so hopefully it's not too bad. Oh yeah, you got all the tests already. <laughs> all right, um, I totally appreciate you. Um, and one more thing, when you get into Remind and you send me a message, it doesn't go to everybody. It just goes back to me. So I have a lot of students say, oh, if I get a message, if I reply back, does that go just to me? Um, yeah, if your mom's a principal, and you can sit in one of our Zoom meetings, totally fine, okay? I'm totally good with that. I, I've been bad. I haven't been watching the chat. Um, okay, that's the only one I saw that I haven't answered, but you can just ask. Um, so in Remind, if I send you a message, sometimes I send bulk messages out to everybody. And so that you guys that are a little bit of paranoid, that you, I said, and I remind people to turn their quiz in, um, just go back into Canvas and see if your quiz is registered as a grade there. You don't have to text me and go, what, did you not get my quiz? I'm sending bulk messages out. Usually, I do not send personal, in, personal. Um, I reply back to people personally, but I don't send, um, I'm not going to send Haley a, a message in Remind just to her. Usually, it's all bulk. It's to everybody. If she replies back, I'll answer it. So just so you know, I have a lot of students ask that question. All right, I just want to make sure that you're at ease and understand the process. If you will have ways as we go through that this semester to go, Mr. Neighbors, it would be better in your Canvas or in your lectures if you did this. Because, you know, I always see things one way from my way that, oh, this makes sense. And then I realize that some students do it a different way and, and, and you point it out and I go, whoa, I've always seen it like this, but that might be helpful. Um, that's always nice to know because, you know, I've looked at it a hundred times and 
it all looks the same and sometimes it needs to change if it does i need to know all right let's get started it's a 15 week class get your books get your quiz get your get your discussion done and i will see you online goodbye <laughs>